absolutely, I'm just lost for words. She's amazing, amazing, isn't she? I've never heard anything really like it. Yeah. Oh, we've got to get you a recording contract or something. Do you know what? Our budget's gone. What with the airfare from the Philippines and the fireworks? <laughs> after... <laughs> I'll be in a vest for the next three weeks. <laughs> Addy, what are you doing uh, as a skier for? What are you doing? Well, um, I'm actually running the London Marathon on Sunday, so. Uh... <laughs> He's a former, former marathon runner, on he jokes? No, I trained for it, but thank God I had a virus. <laughs> <laughs> I've, actually, I've actually picked up an injury myself, yeah. so... Yeah. How's it going, apart from the injury? Well, yeah, well, the, the fundraising's going great, yeah. 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 Who doing, are you running for? Uh, Teenage Cancer Trust yeah. and Burt, which is brain... <laughs> um, and Burt, which is Brain Injury Rehab Rehabilitation Trust, yeah. and um, you can sponsor me on harryrunsamarathon.com. OK. And how long do you think this is going to take you, the marathon? Well, I was hoping to do it, like, under four hours, but because of the injury, I might have to walk a lot of it, so... Three. It's going to be... Four hours? Yeah. Well, I know. It's... Yeah, I'm just going to... Four be... days. Four, yeah, well, we could do it. I'm still be there now, John. Get me flask. <laughs> oh, when am I going up? Oh, I'm at Fly in the studio at the moment. Uh, they want to know. We are, yep. Yeah, yep, yeah, we've just been in... Uh... Yeah, we've, uh, we've just been in Australia, actually, recording our fourth album, yeah. so, yeah, it's going really well. And wh when's it out? When's, when's uh, it out? Probably, hopefully, the end of this summer, so, yeah. yeah. Happy now, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, Harry, best of luck for Sunday, Thank seriously. you very much. I'm sure you're going to do it. Cheers, Remember, mate. get out there and run, run, run. <laughs> All the best, yeah. Kirsten. Thanks for coming in, Harry. Come on, let's hear it for Harry. Yeah. So, how long are you over for? I have to ask you these questions. How long are you going to stay in London for? Uh, I'm going back to the Philippines tomorrow. You're not, really? It was oh, a... No. Bit. It's really short. <laughs> Could you have extended the tickets a bit, please? <laughs> but you've had a lovely time. Uh, have, you had, have you enjoyed yourself while yeah, you've been here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love London. Oh, yeah. good. For... And would you like to be a singer? <laughs> yeah, yeah? Is that what you'd like to do, sing? Would you like to make a career out of singing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah? Well, hopefully someday out there, I mean, maybe I'll go... Me and you going to management? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can really see that. We, had, we used to run a place years ago until the guy was kicked in and the police, and we won't go into that though. <laughs> He but was the got... manager and I was the entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we've got a few questions here from the audience. John and Sue, what was your favourite episode when you were in Only Fools and Horses? Did you like that with the spider? <laughs> <laughs> what was your favourite episode? I think my favourite was the one where we very nearly adopted a baby because Marlene <laughs> desperately wanted a baby, but then it turned out to be... Brown and <laughs> I didn't mind Duke's brown, but he wouldn't have it. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> no, I had to work out how I was going to uh, make people believe my grandfather was Louis Armstrong. <laughs> 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 and what is the worst thing your husband? Can... Oh, this is for you, Joe. Mm. What's the worst thing your husband can do to annoy you for the rest of the day? Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> This is one for really me. Oh, is this for me? Paul, when you meet your maker, what would you like on your headstone? <laughs> Please. Flatten his back as he was in life. That's what I like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And John, will you please say Del Boy in your boysy voice? I'm sorry about this. <laughs> Come along, Del Boy. <laughs> All right, no more emails. Let's do the nodding bus to Tom Bowler. Who's bringing the Tom Bowler house? Come on, Oce. There you go. Oce is doing the triathlon. Oh, no, yeah. 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 Everyone's getting fit. Yeah. You, are you...? No. I'm, I'm, do you know I'm glad you're here? You cheer me up, cos I lie on the couch as well. <coughs> well, I went to my doctor and said, can I exercise? He said, just do something a couple of times a week that gets you slightly out of breath, so I started smoking again. <laughs> <laughs> Who have we got, Sue? Mrs Rose Greer from Norfolk. Who have you got, John? I've got... Yeah. i got Mr M. Shellard from Newport. Who have you got, Joe? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't you get one? Yeah. How do you get one? How do you stop one? Yeah, I've got David Scarf from Leeds. And we've picked Joe's out there, sir. If you want to answer the door for a nodding bus, then email us at paulogrady at channel4.com. That's it for tonight. A huge thank you to my guests, to Joe Brands, to John Chalice, to Sue Holderness, to Harry Judd, and, of course, to our visitor from the Philippines, Sharice Sanieya. Tomorrow I'll be joined by Gone with the Wind star, Darius Dinesh, and the lovely Anne Reid. Of course, I'm going to be doing a bit of magic. Have a lovely night. Ta-da!